if you have a look that's commercially appealing, I was doing commercial work, you know, mm-hmm. little t- back to school commercials and stuff like that. If if I had a look that people wanted to use to sell a product, whether it's clothes or cars or groceries, I could use that look to sell a message. And so my message, like you're saying, Charlamagne, correcting false narratives about my community and people that I represent, that, that became very important. In this episode, I want to discuss two things that Ebony has mastered in order to accomplish success. And after this breakdown, you can take these two principles, apply them to your life and accomplish your dreams. In this culture, we have very dope and talented entertainers, interviewers, commentators, broadcasters, and more. But what we don't have is someone shining a light on these individuals and their specific skill sets and what made them who they are today and catapulted them to success until now. I'm Jamal Nolan and this is Culture Breakdown. On this episode, Ebony K. Williams. If you aren't familiar with Ebony, she is an attorney, broadcaster, best-selling author of Pretty Powerful Appearance, Substance, and Success, the co-host of State of the Culture, and you can find her anywhere in the culture adding style, class, and value. There's only two principles here, but we're going to dive deep into those two principles. Before we do that, let's have Ebony explain to you the premise of Pretty Powerful. So uh, this excerpt is pretty powerful is the understanding that as women, we have the duality of both pretty and substance that can and should be maximized to achieve any success we set our minds to. Our pretty is not a one size fits all prescription, but more accurately, an awareness and leveraging of how we package and present our femininity as an aesthetic that is uniquely authentic and impactful. Well said, Ebony. Now let's hop right into principle number one, appearance. Pretty in the sense of just intentionality, Rochelle, that says there's not one way to wear your hair. It doesn't matter if you're straight or natural. And I talk specifically about that, especially as women and men of color. Uh, not just appearance, but intentionality, meaning putting thought and effort into the way that you present yourself to the world. I'm going to show you some examples of how Ebony lives this on a day-to-day basis. Uh, we lost the blazer this week. We did. I wanted to give you guys some skin. I wanted to give you some face and a lip and, you know, all, all the situations. Like some smoky eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen it. I seen her eyes smoking. <laughs> Since we're not going to be here for the holidays, I'm giving holiday realness today. Okay. Okay. Um, I love is it. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, I am. This is my holiday look. Christmas came early. Did you're going for, like... An Olivia Pope meets Elle Woods from Legally Blonde hybrid. Ah, uh, I see it. See now. it? You I see it? it. Really? Like, yes, no, yeah. I see you it. Yeah. That. As you can see, each outfit is intentional and well thought out. That's what I really love about this principle. You don't have to be a former beauty queen to put in time and effort into your appearance. You know, this is not for beauty queens only or just the prettiest girl in the room. Uh, and that's why I say that it's not a one size fits all. It's however you're comfortable. Uh, Monica Crowley has a chapter in here where she talks about that authenticity uh, is really being what makes you uh, present in a way that's bold and compelling. Uh, and that's really what's going to set you apart. So, so being bold, compelling and authentic will help you stand out as well. But there's a second part to this appearance principle. Let's get into that. Take a picture with it. I'm certain that there was an assessment about who I was and what I represent and what I valued just the minute I walked through the door based off of just how I presented physically. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth when you go in any Mm -hmm. interview room, whether it's at McDonald's or Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. So it's really all about your first impression. We all know your first impression is a lasting impression, but your appearance is your first impression's first impression. She also often says the word pretty isn't a bad word. That just means don't be afraid to be beautiful. There are already enough disadvantages in the world for women. If you can use how you look to your advantage, do it. Because you can bet if it was a man, he would. So remember, to first take your appearance serious, so you are taken serious. Always put time, thought, and effort into your attire, hair, accessories, etc. Now moving on to the most important principle out of the two substance young women have to be you know smart and prepared and substantive more so than anything else what's the positive right. what's the flip side that says when i walk in the room you're so taken with like who is this woman and now i'm about to blow your mind with what i know about what i'm about to talk about right. and now you can't stop me and i get whatever i want so you say you even- now that's such a brilliant statement ebony understand that looks can only get you in the door substance keeps you in the room and positions you to make an impact 
The one thing you'll notice about Ebony if you ever listen to her talk is she is full of substance. I was listening to the conversation. I like to listen first and talk last. Mm -hmm. That's just like my approach to media. Um, I know we live in like a, a Twitter social media age where everybody's rushing to put out the first tweet, the first IG post. Um, I, I'm going to put out the last one, but but I hope it's the most impactful one. Mm -hmm. I hope it's the one that moves the needle the most and teaches people the most. Mm -hmm. My publicist and I were talking in the waiting room. Deferred prosecution should be the default right. to all first-time offenders with a nonviolent offense. Mm -hmm. If you're in school or you're working, you did something dumb, you were young, why do you have to wear that the rest of your life when you could go on to be the next president of the United States? Yeah. You could cure cancer. You could be the next Oprah. Who knows? With substance, know your topics, educate yourself on subjects, speak about them in a digestible manner, be prepared to share your thoughts and opinions in thought-provoking ways, and you will be well on your way to being pretty powerful. If you enjoy these culture breakdowns, be sure to comment down below who you would like to see next. Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.